Hello friends and welcome to another video. Here we'll be playing 10 minute games on chess.com. So let's go for it. Um, this is the central pawn opening. So we are just fighting for the center. Why is he not playing? Why isn't he isn't playing? He's probably looking at my profile and trying to check if there is anything suspicious there. And now that he found out that I seem to be like a fair player, then he decided to play. And this is a, a good habit everybody should do, that you look at your opponent before make your first move. Then you can abort if you, if you want, okay? But if you play the first move, you cannot abort anymore. And then, you know, if you see that the account is new, like one day ago, the guy has 20 games, he won the 20 games he played, he's doing like 97% accuracy every game he plays. Well, what is the chance that he's a cheater and he's using engine? Well, it's 100%. So uh, nothing is 100% in life. This is, this is 100%, okay? So um, <laughs> that's as simple as that. So take a look first, okay? And then you, you, you know if you will need to abort or not. Okay, so um, we're doing a not ambitious opening here, not, a, not ambitious move, not ambitious moves. And then we are simply developing our pieces and okay, so far so good. Let's see how it goes. All right. You were attacking me. Should I capture your knight and push d4? Well, I do like it a lot. Let's go for this. Uh, let's only make sure that my pawns are sufficiently defended and let's go for this. I do like this position a lot. And I'm going to push the pawn if he allows me to, I think. Or, 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 or well, no, actually not. I'm threatening to capture, maybe. But now that you played it, I think I will, yes, I will definitely push. So um, this releases the pressure here, so my knight can route to the other side of the board and I can play on the C column as well. So, okay, we are bringing pieces to the game. We want to attack, but it's not that easy. I think it's time to move the bishop, but yeah, just this light movement here, you know, a very subtle move, so we'll be controlling, we'll be controlling um, the C column here, let's do it, so he cannot play rook, uh, queen a5, he cannot play queen a5, now this is very special because we are getting there, you know, this knight here is awesome, the other knight here is also, so I'm going to f5 dude, but I want to go with both, so I'm playing this first. I'm playing this first, okay? And I know that you will fight for the column here, but I don't mind it. Because if you take and I take, then I might be able also to sack. So whatever you play, I'm going to play this. And if you want to sack the knight so you can take my, my knight, I'm so sorry. I have bad news for you. This is protected. So I'm going to keep the attack here. Knight, knight h4 is my next move. And f5, followed by knight f5. And probably some sacrifice on h6 at some point. So he must be scared at, at this point because I am the one attacking. I do have more space on the queen side. I do have more attacking on the king side. What can he do? I don't know yet. His bishop, he cannot go any square. He can just go back. There's no point in doing that. This bishop, well, it's really not seeing too much things here. And he could try to do what? You know, here and here, maybe. Uh, his knight cannot jump to h5, not just now. So cannot do anything. You want to sack? Well, maybe. Maybe it's an interesting idea. Well, no brainer. I'm not even calculating. Should I be calculating? Yo, well, maybe I should. I didn't see that coming. But okay, this is going to get complicated. This is not going to be easy. I think I win a piece. No, then you have to capture here. Yeah, then you have to capture here and then move. This is interesting, but now it is forced to capture. And I can capture here or I can capture here. I want to capture here because then I'm attacking the bishop. and So for the price of one pawn, we do have a very strong attack. That is basically what is going on, and that is basically what is going on. 
So I guess queen f3 now. You know, just bringing more pieces. This knight is awesome. I don't want to take him out of here. You know, we do have a great attack here. This is a Kasparov knight. We just connected the rooks. Bring another force. Well, with the rook, he will want to exchange everything. Well, then he loses the bishop. So let's do it with the, with the rook. He cannot, he cannot play rook c8. It would be a huge mistake. Yeah. The, now we are talking. Now we are talking. But now I think queen g3 is very powerful. So this pawn would be hanging for sure, but I don't think he will capture that. I mean this and this and I'm, I'm back. Let's do it. I'm risking it all. Oh, I didn't calculate this one. Oh, I'm so sorry about this. I probably screwed it all up. I probably just screwed it all up. But, you know, chances are I can do something still like this and then, yeah, I'm gonna do like this and then this and then F3, but let's try it. This is not gonna be easy, you know? This is not gonna be easy. Probably I can fight for the draw here, but chances are I'm losing. All right, so we are getting our piece back, but I'm losing another pawn. So, um, so bad. D5, I guess. Yeah, I mean, it's not the end of the world. It's not the end of the world. He will be two pawns up, but doubled pawns and an exposed king. So it's not the end of the world. F5 may be better. But then G4, I don't know. No, G4, knight G3, not good. So I have to take. And then pawn takes, and then... Okay, but then... F5 just exposes the king too much. But okay. He's probably thinking with the pawn. Oh, with the queen. Oh, sorry. I almost blundered. So here, we don't want to exchange pieces. Uh, if, if check, I go here. So I don't lose the bishop. And I'm threatening a counterattack here. Not the strongest one in the world, but also this move is very possible. So we do have the control of the column. We do have a good attacking chances here. So... Uh, yeah. Yeah, let's keep attacking. Yeah, let's keep the attack. That's what we're doing. Now this comes with a huge threat. Huge. Oh, of course, rook g8, but yeah, not so this is not huge attack. This is only attack. <laughs> Okay, maybe this one is a good attack, you know, because then I'm threatening here, followed by mate, and he could get distracted. So, all right, he already prepared for that. He already prepared to protect against it. Hmm, interesting. Let's do the procedure. All right, so if I play here, He's going to do like this. And then we start attacking there. And we don't no longer have to worry about the bishop. So let's do it. I think rook g8 is better here than going back with the queen. Not good. I think rook has to defend here. Yes. this Because now he's threatening like this. Followed by picking up the bishop. So what can we do here? What can we do? Um... King here is possible. I think it's really good. And also bishop here. I do like it. Um, this pawn will be hanging. But then his king is going to suffer some attacks. I mean, I'm probably losing, but I'm fighting. That's the point, you know. That's the point. Yeah. Yeah. Now f3, we take and go for an endgame, which is playable. Very much playable. And... Yeah. I don't know if you're going to play queen b1 followed by queen takes a2. No, my pawn on a2 is protected as well. So that's good. We have the both squares protected and also this pawn is protected. So this is meaningless. 
and this threatens to start an attack here. So um, maybe we should play here, putting pressure here. But uh, this move does nothing because he moved. Oh, okay, the queen is protecting there. Now I saw it. Okay, so this and this. Yeah, let's try to exploit this exposed king. But then f3 comes with a threat, a huge threat. f3. f3, rook c8, rook takes check, king goes away, and we don't have a strong attack anymore. So, what else can I play? Maybe a3 then. Yeah, five minutes. Yeah, maybe a three because now I can, you know, start some 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 things like this. I don't know. Maybe not the way I showed, but not with the queen here. Yes, I think that's good because he cannot move the bishop, or can he? I mean, what if he plays this? What can I do? He's just moving the king. <laughs> That's weird. I think he could have played it because he's protecting checkmate there. Well, he's waiting for me to move my bishop? Why? I don't get it. I'm going to move my bishop. Then at least I have some attack. I don't get it. You want to check me? Oh, maybe you want me to capture and then check me. I got it now. But okay, I can play this then. Next move, and then it will be two attacks, no defense. You cannot push two defenders. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna play this move next. And another idea is to play this, right? And start putting pressure there, but okay, this is doing nothing. The queen is guarding there, okay, it's not a good idea. I think the, the, um, my, my, my attempt is on those pawns. And also now, I just realized that I'm better on clock. And probably he, he realized it as well, so he gave me, uh, pawn, so I'll take it. I'll take it. I can also, f yeah, I'll take it. You know, maybe I can fight for a draw now. Maybe I can fight for the draw now. All right, so I'm going after this pawn. Rookie six. Hmm. It's gonna play rook e6, so not easy yet. Not easy yet. How can I go on? Four minutes, I feel I can fight, I feel I can play this. I still don't know how to continue. I'm gonna bring the king, because I think this is a smart thing to do. He cannot push it yet because this hangs. Now he prepared to bring the king and push the pawn. So if he can do it, I'm probably screwed up. So maybe I need to start to keep bringing my king. And if he pushes the pawn and I take and he pushes again and I try to defend and he pushes again, I, I, I can defend. But not only now I realize that this pawn is also hanging. So should I be concerned about it? I think I should. Let's get him, get him out of this bishop attack. So I'm still better on clock. Yeah, and now he's preparing to push the pawn. What I can do though, is to play here. Yeah, maybe. Maybe I can play that, or maybe a4. I do like a4. Can I draw this? I don't think I can. I think I lose this endgame, so I need to keep the rook. Uh, 
I don't know if I can hold this. But I will do my best. Just need to go back. Need to be careful about checkmate. I need to, to try to counter here. Maybe this pawn, you know, maybe playing this is good. I think if I exchange this, can I still draw? I'm thinking about this, he takes, I take, he takes, I take. And then, I don't know if I can draw this, but maybe I can. This pawn is a cold one. Hmm, cold corner. But another idea is simply to play this, and this pawn has no defense. Yes. Yes, why not? Yes, yes, I think we have a counter-attack. So I'm, I'm, I'm really bad on time now. Really bad on time. I don't care. You can check me. I just simply don't care. Now I care. Okay, so maybe this. Oh, I do have a, a tactic here. No, he's got bishop f6. <laughs> I do have a tactic. No, I don't have it. Oh, he's threatening mate in a few moves. Okay, I can escape. But this one is, is going for checkmate. Well, I think I have to play this. And then take. Oh, I'm getting mated. Okay, I can just go away. What will he do this? This is truly risky. Everything can happen now. Everything can happen now. This is insane. Yes, I don't know what is going to happen. I, I'm, I'm, I'm seriously almost getting mated, okay? But we are both with time problems. Let's get it with the check. And now, let's do this check. He takes. Oh, there's no such thing. So, um, I think I can capture here. I'm not getting mated, right? So, one minute. I don't see, oh, he's got check, but then I pick up his bishop as well. If he checks me, king h2, I think. Yes, king h2. Well, I need to get rid of you. Okay, how about taking the bishop? Um, I don't know about this. I probably need to play something else. I probably need to not get flagged. Not getting mated here, so push the pawn. King there. So I push the pawn again, and then push it again. No, it's not working. So. Just go to a light square, 20 seconds. You're losing the rook here. Yeah. Think I can win. Yes, I think I can win this. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Wow, that's awesome. Let's remove it. Yeah, good game. A nice one. Very tough one. Let's get the review here. And uh, let's see if it's the case to call Kromanik. No, we don't have to call Kromanik, but it was a good accuracy, a good game. As you can see, like, I was really worse in the game. Like, I was completely lost. But uh, we could recover from this. No, this endgame is not good for me. But he needed to find Rook here. Uh, why is this so winning? What if I go here? 
rookie too. He always is, is like giving me mate here. But uh, he, yeah, he's doing like this mate. And if king goes to f1, rook e1 immediately mate. And if I try to do something else like this, then okay, this is mating too. So wow, wow, wow. So I was, I was completely lost, but he played this king move and then I'm back in the game. That is in very, very interesting that I could be back here. So what a nice recovery. So I could find the good moves here. I could find good moves. So this is still drawn. But a very tough position, and now rook g7. Now this wins the game because how ca how can he defend the rook? He cannot defend anymore. And then there is this simple tactics, and I'm winning. And I could protect my bishop here and then push the pawn because still he cannot enter the. Well, actually, then he can play this, and and not not so easy to promote. So at this point, this is the square of my pawn. Okay, if the king can enter the square, he can take the the pawn. So if I remove the bishop, he enters the square. And I'm not really promote, but because of the bishop, maybe I am promoting, right? Yeah, there is this particularity that if I move the, the bishop and keep pushing, now the king is cut. Okay, so I could have done for that. It was probably better. But okay, anyway, this is winning also on the spot. So this is just a matter of trying to do it quickly. Uh, otherwise, you're running on time and it could be a draw. If if I lower, if I if my time ends up, then it, this is a draw. All right, and I do think we do have time for one more, so let's go for the next game and let's see who comes. So twenty one hundred guys, J Morta, let's go. Oh, he aborted. Let's go for the next one. He just aborted the game. Ich bin Magnus. Okay, okay. I don't like this new account and this very strange nickname. Ich bin Magnus. I'm Magnus in. This is probably um, German language. All right, so this one is uh, someone with more uh, experience on the on the chess.com platform. So let's go against this guy, almost to 2200. So this is the Fortnite opening. And I thought he could go for the Halloween Gambit, which is the... Um, well, I think I've played this a few times. The Halloween Gambit I'm going to show you. The Halloween Gambit is when, after the four knights, the, the white sacrifices the knight on move four. And then after you take, he starts, you know, chasing your knights. And this is really difficult to play against this. And um, it's a very interesting opening. You can play in like 10 minute games or blitz games or bullet games. In classical, if your opponent is not as strong as you, you can try, but... Well, here I'm immediately playing d5. Let's see how it goes. Yes, and then I take. You can check me if you want, or you can castle. I can also castle. Wow, this is dangerous, because now the pawn was hanging. Okay, I think this is pretty much balanced. I've played this a few times, and I, as far as I remember, black shouldn't have many problems in this position. So let's just keep going. Um, where do I want my bishop? I think I do want my bishop here. You know, I'm de just developing. This is a simple development move. I can go here if he tries to keep my bishop away. And you know, this bishop is gonna be better placed. Um, yeah, why not here? I do like this. I could go here, you know, if I'm really concerned about this pin, um, but I'm not. Okay, this move is interesting. Let's think for a while. Because if I go h5, he can try g4. And bishop to g6 and exchange. And I, 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 I'm, gonna, I'm gonna provoke him to do so. I'm gonna provoke him to do so. Because, yes, and that's, he didn't go for it. Because this is too wild, you know. He's creating so many weaknesses. And now he wants to push b4. And what I'm gonna do basically is fight. Oh, he wants to play knight here. Oh, only now I see it. So if I go here and he goes here, I can go here. This is weird. Probably is bad. It's probably bad. So let's take the knight. Okay, he, he, he made a very good uh, movementation with his pieces. And now I just take it and I'm playing this next move. Or I can even go, you know, rook e8 first. And only then there, no, because then he can play this. So I think I'm playing this immediately. So I'm not pinned anymore. Of course, bishop g3 is possible at any point. 
then you know queen e7 maybe just need to be careful about playing rook here and then you know this x-ray here could be fatal and um so yeah i think this rook wants to attack the queen so i'm giving support for this square actually and yeah and now i just um go here and i'm threatening this very beautiful fork he's probably not allowing that he can take my knight but then i will decide if i want to capture with the pawn or with the rook i think i capture with the rook okay very good move not only defending the fork but also threatening to capture everything you know this is well this just goes for exchanges actually it's not a threat it's actually it's not a threat So, I can play rook b8 here, but uh, if he takes and I take, then this move is annoying. Because attacks my queen and the rook. So, need to be careful here. Need to be a little bit careful. <laughs> Maybe g5. Maybe g5 takes, takes, and goes here. That's the problem. Yeah, that's the problem. No, g5 is just wild. I don't I don't I don't think I should play g5. Well, maybe here, but I'm not sure. You know, this is starts to be to get complicated. There is a good attack on f2, but I don't have um the possibility to exploit it right away. Another good move probably this followed by this, but I don't know. Still not sure what to do. Maybe a5 here, but yeah, a5 is not bad. It's not good either. Maybe this rook is very flexible. But if he takes, then I'm losing a tempo. But maybe it's flexible. I'm gonna do that. I, I, I'm, I do believe this is a good move. Oh, this, this hurts a lot. This hurts a lot. Because now my queen is not protected anymore. So I think I just lost the game. Is there any exit for this? I don't know. I think I lost the game. Unless I can play g5, but then... He takes, attacking my queen, and then it's over, it's over, wow, that's such a good move, oh no, I just, okay, let's, let's, let's be calm for a while here, if I go here, let's, let's cool down here, and he takes my queen, and I take here, okay, we can play this, okay, we can play this, we can play this. It's not the end of the world, okay? It's not the end of the world. We can do it. Yeah, we can do it. I thought I lost the game, but then I realized I have this resource here. And this is not completely the end of the world. I know my position is not the best. But it's playable. You know, Queen of Fate, next move anyway, in any case. Yeah, queen f8, or maybe queen e5, also possible, you know, putting pressure there. If, for example, queen e2, for example, or maybe queen g4. Yeah, I think then this move is possible, and then it's also threatening e3. So let's do it, you know. This move uh, escapes this attack, and is I'm, I'm going for the pawn. So he blundered the pawn. Oh, he wants to push f4. I don't know what he's planning. But uh, I'm taking the pawn. This is protected. This is protected. This rook is awesome. So I'm attacking those pawns now. I think my position is good. We got, we got a counter fight here. And um, yes, we need, to, we need to explore it now. Yeah, he's, he's already defending. So um, we don't want him to, 
to have time to attack, so let's attack his queen. So I don't want the queens in the board here because, you know, he's attacking me very strongly. If he queen g4, maybe rook g6. I do like this rook. <laughs> I'm going to repeat it as many times because this is really a good um, positioning for the rook. Okay, let's attack it. There's no way he can inv invade with the queen. Maybe here, but yeah, this is a good move. But then I'm insisting here. I'm insisting on exchanging the queens before it's too late because this queen is so active. So maybe he can still keep it. Maybe he can still keep it, but then the rook here and then queen here. Okay, he went for the exchanges. That's good. That's good for us because now we, we are going to push this. And this bishop... It's so bad that it cannot play, really. It can really not play, and we have such a good position now. Rook is going to here, and the other one is going there. So now we push this pawn. So maybe you attack my bishop. I still can, I still can move my bishop. You, yes, you do have this pawn majority. I know, but now I'm going here, and I have four minutes. So I'm playing ultra fast. Because he's trying to confuse me, and I can play this now, and then capture here, but actually I do want to protect my pawn, so I'm gonna, oh, I see now what is going on, if I play here, takes, takes, and then takes, but then takes, and then goes here, and then just, it's over, so let's go for this, actually, it seems like I blundered, but I didn't, actually, this is winning on the spot, so this is very interesting. It looks like I blundered the pawn, but actually not. Yes, this is winning. So we saw it, and there's no way to avoid it now. Um, the only way to avoid the promotion is giving up the rook, so he should resign at this point. Very nice game. Oh, he's playing. Okay, so he just blundered the rook now. So I think he's going to resign in a few moves. Let's just take the rook, next move. So, uh, yeah, that's it. So a very good game here. Just another one. Incredible games today. Let's see the report here. Is it the one for Cole Kramnik? Not the one to call Kramnik for, but uh, it, it was a good game. You know, it was a very, very good game. And uh, especially the end. So we had some problems here. So at this point, I do have a very good position. But I need to play g5. Oh, and, and of course, he lost the bishop. Because if bishop here, I take it. Because the pawn is pinned, so I didn't see that. I didn't see that. So this was a huge blunder. It loses a piece. But then even if he plays before, I just keep it. I just keep it. And then, okay, the, 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 oh, of course, my, my king is going to be exposed, you know. And this is not really so easy. But I can block this bishop, so I'm proposing the exchange of queens, and uh, not really easy to play this. The computer says it's winning, but I don't think it's like really easy to play, but it is possible to play. Now, this queen has nowhere to, to start giving me checks, and my queen is ready to go to g6, and I'm, I should be good here. But it was interesting. I had g5 here, and I didn't see. And now knight e4, that's very interesting. This move was not good. Which one is better here, Queen e5? So I gotta, I gotta take, I, I gotta go away from from this. I, I, I could have had problems here. Now before it was such a good move, and at this point I thought that I lost the game because what it does is the coin, the protection of my queen here, which in earlier lines we saw like for example this is the is the problem. If he takes and I take with the rook here, then the game is over because I am no longer with the bishop protecting this square. So that is the problem about b4 here. But then I saw I could take with the pawn here. And then, of course, uh, I think, yes, he should have definitely gone for this because my pawn structure is so bad now. And uh, he doesn't have to capture here. He can, you, you know, he can push the pawn or do something else. So maybe he can even capture. And then he's a pawn up. And I have to fight for the draw here. And I have, do have a very bad pawn structure. He doesn't have a good one either. But uh, he's a pawn up, so I don't I don't see a chance that he loses this position. Maybe I can draw, but I don't see him losing. So yes, that was his problem. Queen e2 was his problem because now I'm starting to enjoy the, the game here. I'm getting a pawn. I am attacking, 
I am exchanging the queen. I am I am chasing the queen. So we exchange the queens and now the pawn is marching. We know we are just going. And that is just unstoppable. And then he went for this, which looks like a beautiful move, but actually it's not. <laughs> so uh yes, and then he just loses the rook and it's probably getting mated in a few moves. All right, guys, so we do have we did have very good games today. I hope you have enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for your audience and see you next time.